This is FightPickExperts.com here to preview the bout between Daniel Ponce de Leon and Adrian Broner, which is going to be taking place in the televised co-feature to the Soul Alvarez Matthew Hatton fight tonight on HBO from the Honda Center in Anaheim. The bout will be contested over 10 rounds in the super featherweight division. Adrian Broner brings a perfect record of 19 and 0 with 16 knockouts. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. He's an exciting fighter. He's got a, a lot of speed. He's got power. He's got pizzazz, skills, and he's really a, a fan-friendly fighter, a guy that we've all enjoyed watching thus far. However, he's going to be taking a big step up in competition when he takes on Ponce de Leon. Now, Broner's look good against limited opposition compared to what Ponce de Leon has faced, and his only struggle as a pro came against a fighter named Francisco Quintero. That was the only time that he was really tested and had to hold out uh, for an eight-round majority decision in a bout that could have went either way back in 2009. Uh, against Ponce de Leon, Broner's going to have to use his speed you know, and his uh, ability to basically outwork and outmove him. Now, a guy like Ponce de Leon, we all know, is coming to knock you out. He has shown a decent jab in the past when he decided to use it. However, tonight he's going to have to rely on that power punching ability and hope that he can get Broner into a dogfight. Ponce de Leon is a far more experienced man. He was a former titleist at 122 pounds. He has wins over Jerry Penalosa, uh, Ray Batista, Antonio Escalante, and Orlando Cruz. Uh, also has shared the ring in his two losses with Juan Manuel Lopez and Celestino Caballero. Ponce de Leon is a far shorter man. He's also a much smaller fighter, having spent the majority of his career at 122 pounds, where Broner, on the other hand, has fought as high as 138. For this fight, we're going to have to go with Broner. It's going to be a close one, but I think Broner is going to get him out of there uh, via TKO in the later rounds. Uh, he's a much fresher fighter. He's faster. He's got flasher skills. And Ponce de Leon is just going to be a little bit too slow to catch him uh, unless Broner gets a little bit out of control. So we're going to take Broner to win this fight by late stoppage, probably in the 8th or ninth round due to accumulation of punches. This is FightPickExperts.com, and thank you for listening.